Hi everybody, uh, this is Natalie Cooper, one of the senior editors at Methods in Ecology and Evolution. And today I'm just going to give you a tiny bit of a tutorial into how to follow our new code sharing um, principles for MEE. So you may be aware that we're moving towards having people submit code um, along with their papers for review, but also that we're moving towards double anonymous um, reviewing. So that means that anything that you submit to us needs to be anonymized, and that includes your code. So in terms of sharing your code, uh, it's a couple of different things um, just to mention. So first of all, think about the file type that you're going to submit. Um, so we'll accept um, things like um, zipped folders, we'll accept um, text files, CSV files, markdown files, R markdown files. Um, there's probably other things that you might use um, if you're using slightly different um, kinds of software. I'm mostly familiar with R, um, but you know, we're talking about things that are kind of flat files without any additional kind of formatting in those. So what we want to avoid is people sending code in, for example, Word documents, Excel documents or PDFs. So we definitely do not want code in any of those formats. Please go for something simple like a text file or a CSV file. So that's point one. Um, point two is obviously you need to anonymize this. Uh, so many people don't put anything in their code which would allow them to be identified. Uh, but sometimes, um, for example, I will write my name at the top of code sometimes if I'm working with a, a big team of people and we're all working on different parts of the project. Um, our studio, um, so when you're setting up um, these are markdown files will sometimes ask you um, who's the author and so your author information might be in the metadata at the top of those R, R markdown files you need to remove that um, also just check you haven't left any comments to yourself um, that might be um, allow anybody to identify you so remove all of that information so once you've got a good file type you've removed all your identifying information you just want to upload that to scholar one along with your manuscript um, if it's a simple project where you've only got, say, one or two files, you can just upload those files. Again, just make sure the file names don't identify you either. If it's a slightly more complicated project, we'd much prefer if you could upload us a zipped folder um, of files so that we don't have reviewers and editors having to trawl through lots and lots of, of different separate files. Um, so so that is, is a fairly straightforward way of doing things. The, the final thing that you could do is if you're working with a repository and you've then um, archived your code um, on somewhere like Zenodo or Dryad, uh, both of those have a private for peer review option. So you can get a link to your code um, repo that will be um, a link which won't identify you and you could share that link with us rather than having to share the files themselves. Again, bear in mind you do have to go in and check that the code itself doesn't actually identify you because all that that's really anonymizing is the name of the person that owns that repository. I'll quickly show you the way that I would normally do this. Um, so I normally use GitHub to archive my code and so um, let me just quickly share my screen, share this screen. Um, so hopefully there you can see my um, GitHub um, page. And so I generally go into my repositories and then find a repository that I want to work with. So this is one that we recently had to do this for actually. And so then over on this right hand corner, there's a little green code button, which you might have used if you were trying to connect um, GitHub up to our studio or, or anything like that in the past. But down at the bottom here, you've just got this download zip. So if you click on download zip very quickly, we'll download for you um, a nice zipped file of all of your code. And so then all that you need to do is just check in that code to make sure that there's nothing that's going to identify you. So for example, I remember when we were doing this code that, um, sorry, it's on my other screen, so that's really helpful, move it over. So here, for example, I've written um, the name of myself and my postdoc Deepak who um, wrote this code um, just partly to remind me who had written the code at the time. And so that's something that we'd need to delete and then save um, in order to um, resubmit that 
um, so I submit that code um, for review. And so again, you just have a quick scroll through, check there's nothing else in there that identifies you, and then um, you, know, you know, resip that folder and you're good to go. So hopefully that gives you a nice kind of simple way of, of doing that kind of thing. Um, like I said, if you've only got a couple of files, you could just make your own folder um, with and then zip it or you can just upload those files um, independently. So hopefully that, that covers everything. So uh, don't send us Word, Excel or PDF files. Um, do remove all personal information, including names or anything else that might identify you from the code. And then either share as individual files if you've not got very many, as a zipped folder if you do have lots, or send us a link to a private um, archive um, link. So private for peer review, I think it's usually tagged up. Hopefully that all makes sense and it won't be too um, onerous. Do let us know if you've got any questions um, and otherwise, uh, good luck and thanks.